2006, the United States government, through the U.S. Agency for International Development, launched the USAID-Iraq National Capacity Development Program, locally known as TATWIR, Arabic for Development. Once a leader in the Middle East, Iraq had been ravaged by war and sanctions, resulting in a crippled capacity for public administration. Iraqi people were at the top. Uh, when we speak about the 60s and 70s, speak about education, the literacy rate in Iraq was 99%. Isolated from international standards and practices, the world's advancements in public administration had passed Iraq by. The new government, elected in 2005, was in dire straits, unable to manage its administration and provide the most basic services for its people. We were cut off completely, you know. We were in a tunnel, dark tunnel, and we were doing it by ourselves. Before it used to be I. Now it's we. We. By the time you see came in, we were in a great need to uh, look at different ways of training, different uh, subjects, different philosophies, different technologies, and that's what we got. Although Iraq's many dedicated public servants had the will, the government was in need of experienced staff and managers. Talk about the process. The first problem was to get in the door. Tatweer employed senior and native Arabic-speaking advisors to garner the respect and trust of their Iraqi counterparts. Knowing the culture that helped us a lot by uh, building the relationships, understanding their needs, and to build with them this network of trust and working relationship that uh, enabled us to work with them hand in hand over the last four years. After four years of intensive training and consultations with 10 ministries, the next generation of Iraqi men and women are working hard to restore Iraq's institutions to their previous excellence and ensure that the country sustains that level of excellence for a brighter and more stable future for all Iraqis. Kierkegaard said, if you want a man to walk with you, to accompany you, you first have to walk over to where he is. And since we did that, we came here. We wanted the Iraqi government officials and to accompany us sort of into the 21st century in a way. And we first walked to where they were, joined together, gained everybody's confidence mutually, because we learned a lot on both sides, and then, and then walked together. Beyond training, Iraq needed to reform its overall system of civil service and human resources management to promote merit-based hiring and promotions while putting in place institutions to maximize the potential of the government's most important resource, its public servants, and ultimately help all Iraqis access better services. If the government has a civil effective and efficient civil service and costs less money, so doing more with less, I think everybody will benefit from that, and particularly the population, particularly the ordinary Iraqi people will benefit from that. حصل الشيء الكثير في قضية تطوير الخدمة المدنية والقانون المهم في هذا المجال هو قانون مجلس الخدمة الاتحادي. From the beginning, Tatwir worked with ministry management to take the lead in identifying the needs within their own ministries and to develop their own solutions. I want to say that. Internal audit is not a dangerous thing. What we found out is that they were uh, stuck in an era of 35 years ago where they're waiting for upper leadership to tell them what to do. They didn't know that they, they can. With this new democracy, they have the freedom to actually make a decision. 
the freedom to lead. The first thing they said was, please train us, train us, train lots of us. Train, and they put this target, train 58,000 of us. That was 10% of the 10 ministries we were working in. This group of people, we call them leaders of change. Through the delivery of over 5,000 week-long professional courses, Tatweer and the government created a critical mass of trained public servants. The result was nothing short of amazing, and training reached more than 100,000 enrollees, both in Baghdad and in all provinces. Our ministry sent, sent me in this course to learn how to teach, how to, to train other people, other employees in my ministry. Yeah. The Training of Trainers program provided Iraqis with first-class courses so that they, in turn, could deliver training on their own and sustain that knowledge into the future. By the end of 2010, an impressive 98% of Tatwir courses were taught by Iraqis. <laughs> They have replicated our experiences, they have learned our skills, and they can do what we can do as advisors in their ministries. Iraq needed help more broadly. In cooperation with the Ministry of Planning and the Council of Ministers, the project sent 120 competitively selected men and women to the most prestigious universities in Egypt, Jordan, and Lebanon, where they earned their master's degrees in public administration and policy. The knowledge and education public administration does not exist in the academic world among the Iraqi universities. We have been, you know, suffering from, from being isolated from other worlds. So having this study outside of the country is, is itself considered very, you know, a very good move or, or opportunity for them. The intent here is for them then to transfer the best practices, the international standards, the concept, the theories, the models that they have studied in public administration in their own ministry. One important project for Tatweer was working with the Ministry of Planning to formulate a national development plan, a roadmap for future development, while also establishing standards and producing reliable government statistics. And in 2008, Minister Bafan himself said, OK, let's take the lead and let the government of Iraq start taking the lead of shaping up the, new, the nature of this country. And they asked for our assistance through USA.queer. And the end result was a nice document called the National Development Plan that was adopted by the Council of Ministers on April 27 of this year, 2012. <laughs> ولم نكن نقف على أي مهاجات حديثة في هذا المجال. نعم بدأنا بإعداد الاستراتيجية وكنا بحاجة إلى خبراء ومنظمات تقيم هذا العمل وتساعدنا في أن نحقق أو أن نصل إلى استراتيجية تفي بمتطلبات التخطيط ورسم السياسات. لذلك الحقيقة كان دور تطوير مهم في دعمنا في هذا الاتجاه. والوصول إلى استراتيجية نعتقد بأنها تعتبر من الاستراتيجيات المتقدمة في المنطقة العربية. They will see at least 5,000 schools to be built. They will see uh, more than 25 new hospitals to be built, and they will see an increase in the electricity. Any Iraqi person who will see between uh, from two months from now, he will see that every product come with Iraq with a certificate. This is not. Uh, done until now. By the end of October, they are going to sign contracts with two international inspection companies, and this is a major event for Iraq. For the first time, the Iraqi consumers are going to be sure that the products that are important are safe and of good quality. The hope is uh, great. Now Iraq has a plan uh, for its future, to bring it to the 21st century uh, standard of living. The impact of Tatweer can be seen and felt across Iraq. The country has made striking progress in many areas of public management, from civil service reform to national development planning. 
Now, with a critical mass of skilled civil servants, the ministries are capable of assessing their own needs and continuing the process of improvement on their own. And ultimately, citizens are able to access higher quality services and programs. Today, America has a dual responsibility to help Iraq forge a better future and to leave Iraq to Iraqis. They've gone from having a government which was broken in terms of public administration functioning, we're not talking about politics, to one that now is functioning. And is not only functioning, but is now already moving forward without us. We really spend more time these days chasing after them as they move forward rather than pushing them. Uh, actually, I, I remember the first meeting with Tatwir, uh, uh, 2007, and uh, I can say that today, when the end of the, uh, at the end of the day, Tatwir fulfilled their commitment to us.